<laughs> what else? If y'all ever got something you need to send me, my email address is countryrover at gmail.com. That way I can go by my iPad and stay in touch with you and fill y'all in with more information <laughs> like, uh, like I just filled you in on <laughs> pee, you know what, you got a pot to pee in. Yeah. That I've was heard that, you know, huh? That was interesting. It was. So if y'all got something like that, send it to me, and I'll get it out for y'all as much as possible. Well, Danny Johnson be with us every week, too, doing uh, The Road Runner. BB. 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 Y'all got something you want Danny to cover? BB. Let us know, and he'll be out there doing it. That was really a lot of money. Yeah, that was a good fundraiser. Y'all got something we can help you out, too. Don't forget tonight is State Night up in Ardmore. We'll be in Ardmore later on this morning. Bean Day. Seeing Jeff Hodges, National Steve Bank. Smith, and a whole bunch up there with First National Bank. Is they, I guess they've been doing Bean Day probably 30, 40, 40 years. years. Then they'll be doing it across the street coming up. I think they do that one in May okay. over there. So coming up on the Marshall, Brad Huffines will be with us talking about severe weather. And you said we've got an entertainer coming from the Shoals area? Yes, Ben Phillips. He's actually done our show when we were in uh, Florence, and he's going to be singing. And he actually did our show twice, and he said he got kind of embarrassed because he was doing an exercise thing and actually fell. <laughs> He was real, a lot younger then. He was. He's, it's he's, kind of like when y'all was making me walk around my exercise, and I failed. Gonna fall. <laughs> well, you, you, you know, you got to do something. You know. <laughs> but he wrote a song about Facebook, how he got his heart broken on Facebook. It's kind of cute. <laughs> Is he catfished? I don't know, and I doubt it. So he's got a song that's out about Facebook. Mm -hmm. And just signed a contract with uh, to go traveling around. Because the world. of that song? I don't think just because of that so song, but he wrote, writes others too. It's pretty good. Well, if you say he's good, then he's good. We he's have no, good. you know, we have no shame when it comes to entertainment on this program. <laughs> no, you know, that, that's kind of, you know, what you need to go with. All right, let's see, what else is coming up tomorrow? I don't remember. Next Thursday, if next Friday we won't be here, we'll be off and. Uh, next Thursday we will be here. Yeah, we'll Anna be here. Franklin, Anna, Sheriff Anna Franklin, Franklin will be, be with, with us, us next week too, talking about. It. I got a great letter from uh, um, our viewer and. Uh, out, Carolyn Alexander from over at Kateka saying, hey, I heard some good things about my sheriff. She's doing a good job busting all these meth heads she over here. She certainly is doing And her that. rodeo's coming up uh, a couple of weeks. So we'll It'll be, be talking about that. It'll be the following week. Too. And the special needs rodeo for her is, I want to say, the 21st. Yeah, so we got some information from the sheriff's department over that way yesterday, too. So, uh, Chili Challenge is still running this week. I can't remember. We do so much stuff here. The 25th annual. Ch oh, by the way, speaking of Chili Challenge, I'll talk about that in just a second. Don't forget, it'll run, conclude probably this Friday, 1 to 6 p.m. Y'all record it, whatever you want to do. Thank everybody for participating in that. Mm -hmm. Call Mac Rainey yesterday. Mac's first person ever to have a heart attack that I know of and absolutely fall out and nearly die at the Chili Challenge. Oh. So Mac's alive and well. He's out of the hospital. He's living with his mama. Just got to where he can walk, but he's going to come on the show and tell the story and thank the... Uh, Oak Grove, Oak Grove Volunteer Fire Department up at that. He said what happened when it was over. They were announcing the winners, and his daughter, Savannah, Savannah was in the gym. He goes out to load stuff up to him out front, wherever they were parked. Mm -hmm. He said, I don't remember anything. I don't even remember seeing y'all there. I said, well, Mac, when wow. I saw you, you were ready to throw up anyway. He, <laughs> Mac <laughs> falls out. Luckily, Outside. two guys that are members of the Oak Grove Fire Department saw him, called this other lady. She comes over and goes mouth to mouth saves him mm -hmm. and then he was in the hospital Huntsville hospital for several days or a week or whatever but Mac is up and doing want to thank everybody for saving his life at the chili challenge uh, two weeks ago sure, man what a, I said you will go to bean day with us you're from our <laughs> no I'd hate to go up there and have another heart yeah. attack so I mean uh, you never know what volunteer fire department might be around to help mm -hmm. and that's the reason why they're critical to have, still have around yeah. all right yeah. let me update y'all too I showed this picture earlier this morning the new yogurt shop Owner Greg Crow will be open. Tom and I were down there yesterday. Greg's going to open that up spring break this year. So it'll be Athens' only frozen yogurt shop, Arctic Chill. So that'll be coming up. Uh, now, those chairs and tables will be a little more organized. Yeah, they'll be a little bit more organized. But you'll be, how many flavors is he going to have? No, I, don't I don't know. know. It's a bunch. A lot of toppings. I know there's about 40 toppings. Did y'all sample any of that yesterday? Over no, there? he wouldn't let me. <laughs> but anyway, opening up on Highway 31 near the liquor store. For those of you who might, the liquor store. Yeah, for those of you who might know where that is. And the, the reason he keeps saying that is because he goes to the spinning class and Dusty McLemore, uh, pastor at Lindsay Lane's in that class as well. Good friend of my best buddy. Oh, that's right, his girlfriend. 
and they're in there and he's telling people about the yogurt shop and they're like oh it's right by the liquor store not one single person in the room <laughs> knew where the liquor store was so they claimed so yeah, that's I'm why he was teasing come them. on people even dusty knows where it is yeah so anyway that's what's going to tomorrow jaw jack will be back with us next week cooking too he's on a, every other he's on a bi, bi weekly schedule bi -weekly. right he'll be cooking twice a month yeah. we'll be up at bean day first national bank see y'all up that way later on this morning thank y'all for getting up with us the cold weather's out of here i guarantee it no. Look at what Frank has to Don't say. Listen to him. It's cold right now, but it's, it's going to be warm this weekend. Y'all can get out in your shorts and all be white, looking like the rest of us. Cool it. What? Like a can of cool. Oh yeah, the Home and Garden Show comes up in the Athens event, Limestone yes. County Event Center next week. Mm -hmm. Y'all, we'll have them on Garth. Free events. Free yeah. event. Free event next Saturday and Sunday of Limestone Event Center. Second or third annual Home and Garden Show. I think the third. Third, because they had that to army the first couple mm -hmm. of years. All right, I've killed enough time maybe. talking about nothing this morning. Hope y'all have learned something. Right now, we'll get out here for the day. See y'all in Ardmore later this morning. Zeke, hope you're watching. I'll see you there, too. Bye. Right, we got to go. Bye.